Is your AC running? Well, you better go catch it. <laughs> All jokes aside, it is way too hot outside. Some would say oppressive to deal with air conditioning issues. Kendall Yarbrough is the AC sales manager of Snyder AC Plumbing and Electric, and he joins me now to discuss the importance of regular air conditioning maintenance. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, glad to be here. All right, let's jump right into it. So what can homeowners do to ensure their AC systems can keep up in the summer heat? Well, there's, there's gonna be no substitute for professional routine maintenance. Mm -hmm. Having someone who's educated, equipped, and trained to come in and ensure that system is operating at peak efficiency. Uh, however, the most uh, common and, and should be the easiest thing a homeowner can do is just change your air filter. Right, so let's, let's talk about that. So what is the job of the air filter and how does keeping it clean or keeping it upright help the unit, uh, uh, you know, filter out our air and stuff like that? So the uh, filtration is really a twofold process. Mm -hmm. The first step is to clean and protect the air conditioning system itself. Okay. Uh, if you get the least amount of dirt and debris on the evaporator coils or on the blower wheel itself, uh, it's really going to hamper the unit's efficiency and ability to keep you cool. Gotcha. The second uh, thing is really to clean the air itself, the air that you breathe. Mm -hmm. um, filters can remove uh, harmful allergens, bacteria, things like that that would um, kind of aggravate respiratory issues. You are really good at just segueing right into the next question, man. Have you been, you, <laughs> you've done your homework. So we're talking about harmful allergens. What kind of health hazards can be removed if you keep that AC system up to snuff? Well, so the first thing we have to recognize is all filters are not created equal. Mm -hmm. um, the, the old Don't get blue, cheap on them. The don't get cheap on them. <laughs> uh, and honestly, you know, I tell homeowners, you know, if you buy the cheapest filter out there, you're going to have issues. Gotcha. Also, if you just go to the big box stores and buy the most expensive filters, you could also have issues. Those really? could be too restrictive. Okay. Where they're catching all of those allergens and, and uh, particulate matter, but they're also going to be restricting the airflow itself and kind of starving the system. Interesting. For air. All right. So let's say I'm new to my home and I've got in a you know and I've been as attentive as I possibly can to my filter <laughs> needs. Uh, is there anything else that I can do in order to help my air quality? Absolutely. And and before we get into it, I'll let you know it's okay. Uh, <laughs> the old saying is the milkman never has any milk. Uh, the AC guy probably needs to go home and change his filter. <laughs> but I will, um, there are things that you can do. Of course, you know, it's just one of those things where first we need to see where we're at. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes the equipment itself may be dirty. Most of the time what we find is the air ducts are dirty. And the thing that we don't think about, especially being a second or third homeowner, is the amount of dust and debris that is already in that system. Right and the contents of that dirt and debris. Yeah, I can actually speak a little bit to that personally. My wife and I bought an 80-year-old home oh, wow. in Avondale, right, and there's all sorts of business in there. <laughs> so we had to have, you know, guys like you come out there and take care of it, and they use some stuff that looks a lot like this. So this isn't my loofah, right? No, this is like not your loofah. It oh, may work the right. same. Uh, however, these are tools that we use in uh, one of our duct cleaning systems. Uh, so you can see we have various uh, sizes. We go from a larger, uh, a larger soft bristle brush here those are designed to actually get in there and they attach to our duct cleaning system which um, some would call it a glorified uh, shop <laughs> back because it actually has a vacuum so that as we put these in there uh, these brushes will rotate okay. and kind of scrub the side of that duct work they will remove any dirt dust debris that's built up on it while at the same time the vacuum is removing it from the system keeping your uh, your system blowing fresh air for you. Right on, very cool. Well, it looks an, like an amazing service, and so how would people find out how to have this at their home? So uh, whether we're talking about duct cleaning or even the maintenance agreements that we sure. kind of talked about, you can just give us a call at 641-6000. Um, and I said that phone number wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall. 641-0600. 641-0600? Yes. All right. Well, Kendall, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And guys, if you'd like to learn more, you can head to our website.